10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The vision of this project is while Wynwood's being inundated and exploding with street artists from all over the world, I wanted to get a chance to put all the local native artists into one place and really spotlight the movement that's occurring here. The authentic like Wynwood or Miami art movement with this young generation of up and comers. And I think that's what we have achieved here, so it's pretty amazing. The one thing that we really liked and excited about was the art piece and the morales in Wynwood. And we said, you know, why don't we actually try to bring the neighborhood into the building and try to allow people to express themselves. We decided to um, uh, go with Daniel Fila, which is a great artist and a great partner. And we're putting a project together to allow uh, young artists to express themselves on a, on a permanent piece that they can put in each and every floor and create an additional layer of, of creativity and bring it into this building. At the end of the day, I see the filling station as a very uh, uh, selected boutique building where people can really live, enjoy and express themselves. Hi, I'm Dana. Uh, with Dana B Interiors. I was um, hired by uh, the Tahoe Group and the NR Investment Group to, um, to do the interiors of the filling station. When I was approached to do the interiors of this building, I, I looked around, you know, at Wynwood, at the neighborhood, and I was so inspired by, by all the art that's wrapping every building, every wall. Uh, everything is very, um, almost like a primitive art and I just wanted to bring the streets inside the building. My name is Raymond Adrian, uh, better known as Jen. I'm an artist designer from Miami, Florida. My name is Jesse Knight. I'm a contemporary artist based out of Miami. Hello, my name is Ruben Oviera and I am a post-graphism artist. And for those who don't know what post-graphism is, um, it's basically, I think, a, a form of elevated graffiti. Hi, I'm Andrew Tonasio, Alfilio Galvez, and they know us as Dos Alas. My name is Jeremy Nichols. I sometimes go by Rasco, live in Portland, Oregon. I'm Evoca Juan, I'm a Miami based street artist. My name is Jose Mertz. I am an artiste. Sometimes I'm a creative person. So the units are are very raw, yet they're very luxurious. Uh, we use high-end materials, you know, European kitchens, um, high-end appliances, imported tiles, nice lighting fixtures, yet everything is very neutral and it's toned down so that a, tenant, a potential tenant can come in and just express himself so each tenant can make a space become his own gallery. As you evolve drawing all the time, uh, you kind of figure, man, I, this is a language that is communicating to a lot of people simultaneously. I got to kind of put my ego aside and what am I going to tell on a bigger scale, you know? This is 
like a, a documented something, some type of materialized thing that represents all of us, it's cool, you know? And it's cool that it's in a living quarters. Someone's gonna be seeing this every day. by the filling station, um, I, I immediately fell in love with it because of the architecture and the way that, that the building was created, the exposed beams, the, the rough surfaces, which is literally bringing the outside in. Collaborations is that, it's just being with those people, getting the most you could get, and then creating something beautiful, stepping back, creating, and then bringing back, and it's just that back and forth. So it only makes you a better artist to do collaborations. The collective is the most potent part, not one of the artists, but all of them together. Like, all of us together is something. In the long term, this project is going to be one of the anchors that takes Miami to the fruition it needs to go to with its art movement. <laughs>